Greetings YouTube, happy Tuesday once again. I just downloaded the Apple update for the month of August in Marvel Contest of Champions with good old Sunspot on the front who I am convinced still looks like the 1990s cartoon classic Freakazoid took way too much acid. And uh, we have this screen that pops up, right? It's a reminder. Keep in mind, when it says at a special intro rate to access these perks for 30 days, blah, 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 earn up to 300 units, unlock discounted store items and access. So we're going to learn more, right? We're going to talk about this the, uh, the good old-fashioned way. And so you can see that there are certain milestones. It really reminds me of... Uh, the dungeon milestones and the renew price is $9.99 at the bottom right. And it's even uh, glowing at you to try to call you to the orb as if you are Lord of the Rings and it is your precious. So we're going to go to the store because the question is going to be, let's say I do this thing. What's the best and worst value for your items and your units and just your flat out money? on the black ISO market. Well, hopefully you clicked on this video with the expectation that I would rank this stuff because I try to do the hard work for you. And in this case, it's very important because it's also determining, hey, is it worth the 10 bucks a month? And keep in mind, that's the introductory price, which tells me that at any point, even in month two, they could try to push it to 15 or 20 bucks, similar to how you suddenly check your cable bill or internet bill, and it's like five or $10 higher, and you're like, what the heck? When did that happen? And then you call your cable company, and they're like, well, we've got these special fees. Deal with it or cancel. Keep in mind, at least if they are telling the truth, which let's hope they are, it is a month-to-month -month thing, so you won't be locked in for a year, which is good because nothing is worse than paying a year for something and not using it for like half of it. Okay, so you can see that there is everything from level three team health potions for gold. That's pretty dang cool, I would say. That's, to me, Scrooge McDuck of, uh, of gold. I mean, sure, let's purchase three of those. For 30,000 gold, I'll take any potions or revives for gold. If this was all gold, you would just see me salivating and spending millions of it. Now it's not, but uh, this is a great offer. For any of you like me who have extra gold, especially if your inventory cap is no longer at max because you can see that it's increased four from what it was because it's a 25% increase. But yeah, we're going to snatch those up. So the purchase is confirmed. What's up? If you need a Stony Mastery Core, I did do a video on how last month, I think it was, there was a special opportunity to get this for free in the Marvel Insider store. But, uh, you know, what is it? 30 units off the normal 150 unit price. Not bad. Uh, Tier 1 Class Catalyst Selector. I think this is really awesome to use generics in place of the class. In fact, I think that this is uh, something that's going to very much help players who are starting out and maybe just have a hard time grinding. You can get a guaranteed one tier two class catalyst of that specific day for running the class catalyst uh daily quest but besides that it's a decent amount of units to trade in some generics of that class i think that's a fantastic deal a huge plus for anybody that needs these i think i'm very impressed with both the tier one and the tier two don't sleep on those particularly if you're somebody who's just trying to rank up three or four star champions the tier three class selector is also fantastic and this is for middle class champions who need these tier threes for their four stars and maybe even I think what you need three for your five star and at rank one to rank two so wow that is impressive I am very impressed with trading two generics for a class generics are easy to get and uh, you can really have a hard time getting tier three class catalyst because unlike tier two and tier one you are not guaranteed in fact very much the opposite when you spend your hard-earned energy to do the daily quest so that might be worth it to some people right there now you've got premium disappointment crystals, half off for shards. That's pretty cool. And that resets uh, every two weeks. And so you just get half off, not too bad, considering you can get a lot of those shards just for grinding the arena. Now the three-star hero crystal, I don't think that's worth it really. It's You only have, get to do it once anyway. But the premium at least gives you a chance for a four-star, and I'd rather take the gamble for half the price for a two-star then settle for a guaranteed three-star. If this was an ultimate crystal, it'd be different, but it's not. 
Okay, car mastery core is also at 50 units off. Better than nothing, but if you are patient, you will find much better unit-based deals once or twice a year. We just don't know when those are. Uh, tier 4 basic callus fragments, that is fantastic because that's, uh, what, double what it normally is if you, if you sell them? So if you need some Tier 4 basic, that's nice, and it's also 5 out of 5 purchase limit in 12 days. I'm going to purchase 5 of those because I have a ton of those. So, hey, there you go. Ultimate Crystal for 4000 that is a much better deal than the 2000 because at least you have that 20% chance for a 4-star. It is double the price tag of the 3-star to cash in, but you're upping the uh, premium rate from 3% to 20%, so I say it's worth the gamble. Now, the 4-star Hero Crystal Shards, trading in 2,000 for 1,000, 2,000 3-star for 1,000 4-star, that's fantastic as well. Now, uh, I don't think I have the ability to do that based off of the 3-star shards I've got right now, but it's easy to build those up, especially if you open some premiums. I think that's a great deal for sure. The Tier 2 Alpha Catalyst, you can trade in one. This is not a spectacular deal, but it's still better than nothing and uh, could be worth as much as about three times what the value normally is. And you can do that for five as well every two weeks. And then this is very intriguing from what I've been told from people who are struggling to get these Tier 4 Class Catalysts. Now, I would be way more a fan of this if you could choose your class. Just imagine that. That would maybe do it for quite a few middle class players who just can't get these things otherwise. And I guess it would just be too tempting for Kabam to be that generous. And so this is the one out of six RNG based uh, in the store. But at the same time, I think it's uh, it's nice. If you struggle to get tier four class catalyst crystals and you're only getting them for basically the monthly login, uh, you're not in a position where you can really do map five or map six consistently yet. Maybe you're doing a lot of map two and map three, maybe even map four of Alliance Quest. Hey. That's great. And three, generic tier four basic is a small price to pay when you consider that you could get the uh, class you need. Now, uh, tier one alphas also for two generics. That is another fantastic uh, deal for middle class players because you can just see how, uh, how transformative that is considering how easy it is to get tier three basics for many people for daily milestones. Now, the final two things were the headlines of the announcement. The featured five-star hero crystal for 11,000 shards. Now, of course, this really varies on whether or not you think it's worth it to go for the featured five-star. Personally, other than Cole and Namor, uh, I've got Blade maxed out, so I would not go for this right now, even though it is quote-unquote free since it's a trial for a week. But if you are in need of Blade or you want to try to get that Cole or Namor, etc., you're going to have a hard time finding a better deal than essentially 4,000 five-star shards off the retail price, what we're used to paying. And then lastly, 2,000 four-star shards for 1,000 five-star shards. You better believe I am going to do that, and I know that I have the ability to do it. So let's just cash that in. The purchase is confirmed. So if we are to look from top to bottom at the purchases that make this worth it, I think the level three team health potions are a steal for gold. That's just fantastic, particularly for somebody like me who can't get rid of his gold fast enough. And then the tier one and tier two class selectors, and even the tier three, don't sleep on those class selectors. They are so valuable considering you can trade generics and actually select the uh, catalyst of your choice. I wish we had that in the tier four class catalyst selector. I wish that was a thing. Maybe that'll be a thing in the next couple of years, but that's really what is the need for so many middle class quote unquote players the most. I also want to say that the tier four basic catalyst fragment trade in is awesome. I'm a huge fan of that. I am not a fan of the three star hero crystal for 2000. I just think it's not worth the gamble. Go for half off premium for a thousand shards and or take a gamble on an ultimate crystal every once in a while. If you pull a four star, it is an amazing value. And if you don't, at least you got to open a fun crystal that's got a 20% drop rate for a four star. The featured five star is certainly a good deal based off of the retail price, but you've got to decide for yourself if it's worth it. It is just a thousand more than the basic. Really what would have made me happier in the store was if they took the price of the basic down from like 10,000 to say five or 6,000 five star shards. That would be so much better, but unfortunately it is not. 
Also, if you've got some overflow like I usually do of tier one alphas, the tier two alpha callus fragments, you could be doing worse. I'm probably gonna be trading in quite a few of those. Keep in mind, you can kind of work with the black ISO market right now this week, at least at the time of filming this, because you can get in the souvenir store some tier one alphas for your currency. And so you can get the tier one alphas right away, and then you can just convert those with the black ISO market into tier two alphas. I also want to say that uh, we have some changes that we're kind of trying to consolidate things in a more user-friendly fashion, which I'm a huge fan of. I'm also going to, uh, real quick, just look at inventory caps because I am super curious, even though I'm sure I can do the math on 25%, how that's changed. But you can see just how many basics I have in my overflow, even with the inventory caps. And so it's um, it's really nice to see that there is a uh, an increase. 13 for a lot of these Alliance revives. Uh, now you have uh, even caps for boosts, like the plus 30% boost which is 13, I appreciate that. One of the huge increases is 25 of six stones. Man, talk about clutch, even though I still think the five star one should be 200, given that that's what it takes for a max sig of a five star, and then you've got things like uh, potions and revives, etc. I also wanted to take a look real quick for us at the catalyst caps, and you can see they're in yellow. 19 now for tier four basic, Eight for tier five basic, not that people really struggle, at least most players with that, I would imagine not. But the tier four class catalyst at 15, that is certainly relevant to many players. And uh, I'm thankful for it. 15 for tier two alphas and tier one alphas are now 15 as well. So there you have it, YouTube. It's certainly great for a free trial. And I hope that my uh, analysis has helped you with the black ISO market. If you don't have the money or don't plan on actually purchasing a subscription for $10 United States, uh, take advantage of this trial week and do your best to cash in while you can. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Have a great day.